Good morning. I am at the 2017 Havilah 100. Just got my tent set up here this weekend to support the runners, not be a runner this time. So I'll be volunteering, pacing. But first, let's go ahead and get to the expo. Then we have Zach Bitter, who is our winner last year and course record holder. Nicole Katjuralopoulos. That was, I totally butchered that, guys, I'm sorry. Uh, we have Brendan Davies. He is our Ultra Trail World Tour athlete from Australia, coming in. Larissa Danis is joining us as well from the Northeast. We have Sage Canada, Jim Walmsley, and Hayden Cox, all from Hoka, representing. So thank you guys all for being out here. Uh, I want to. Okay, well, we're almost done with packet pickup. It's been a long day of handing out numbers and, and bibs and, and all sorts of goodies to runners. We're getting close to being done. Next up is the film festival, and then tomorrow morning we start with the A station and the start of the race. Well, here it is just before four o'clock, and people are showing up, getting ready to start the aid station and make some things happen. It's gonna be a long day. I'd like to give you a tour of Catalina headquarters. We decided to leave it just the way it was originally. <laughs> awesome. I love the bib number because they get, know, get the yeah. right bib number to go with That's it. That's right. Awesome. <laughs> Have a blast out there. Thank you so much.
not on the run! Okay, it's about 15 minutes after 5, and that volunteer shift ran from 4 a.m. to 2 p.m., and yeah, it was a quite hectic for a while, and a lot, I ended up putting a lot of ice in a lot of different places, a lot of sleeves, a lot of uh, bandanas, hats, lots of places, and uh, but we did a really good job team was fantastic working there at the aid station. We had it going very well. I think the runners had a good time getting in, getting out, getting what they needed, getting things they didn't know they need in some cases. And I just finished uh, a two hour stint standing out at the trail in my Tuscan Raider costume. And so much fun to see those runners just come in off that lap and they're exhausted and you look up and you see that smile. 
not because they were getting close to the finish line, but because there was something different they didn't expect staring them in the face and cheering them on. And that was a lot of fun. So I'm gonna relax a little bit. I'm a little dehydrated, so I'm gonna go drink a lot of water. Ugh. Get something to eat. Raul should be coming through later tonight, so I'm gonna definitely rest, stay off my feet, and get ready to do what I need to do to get him through the last 40 miles of this event. And if we go to noon tomorrow, as long as we make it before noon, that's all that matters. I'm gonna get him to that finish line, and we're gonna do what it takes for him to be a 100-mile finisher. So, yep, gonna enjoy the nighttime desert and just keep moving through it for about 40 miles and it's gonna be a long night and it's gonna be done on very little sleep since I only, I did get six hours last night, it's maybe seven. So yeah, it's gonna be a long night. So uh, I'm gonna sleep well tomorrow. So we'll get some. She helped a lot, and my pacers were amazing, and just helped it, kept me really patient and really controlled along the route. And when I said back off, they backed off, and <laughs> yeah, it was great. So, one more time, give it up for Patrick Regan. <laughs> 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 